Well, our buddy uh, Tom had some sunfish out in North Carolina that were uh, headed to be uh, land landfilled, make nice foundation for someone's new home. But he knew Phoenix had some damage, and especially along her chine, so he sent this little chunk of boat so we can either either cut a piece out and graft it in, or we can use this piece as a uh, mold to make another piece to put in. Um, leaning towards uh, cutting and grafting, but we'll see how it goes along. But it gives us a chance to look at some of the things that are going on inside these boats when they're constructed. You can see where the uh, foam blocks are attached to the inside of the hull. And here's the, uh, the backer block for a bow handle. Of course, since the rest of the boat was messed up, the, the figure said the backer block's in great shape on this one. These blocks also have these little fiberglass hangers that uh, those things dry up and fall off. And then the block either falls off soon thereafter, even though it's got a little blob of putty holding it in, or it gets wet and rots. Another interesting feature of these boats is these, this little loop that's fiberglassed in right here. What that's for is they use that to pull the boat out of the mold once it's uh, ready to go. Someone put a uh, inspection port in here, not sure why. Seeing as that block looks to be in pretty good shape, maybe they, maybe that's why, maybe they slid a new block in there. But uh, you can see that these older boats have nice, oops, almost nice thick uh, fiberglass, especially when you start getting up around to the keel. So on our other boat, Wave, that's damaged, that's probably where we're going to graft in as a just split right there on the keel and then put another inner backer piece for a little extra support and then lastly one of the places for leaks is this seam right here where the uh, see where the deck and this hull flange come together it's not it's not terribly wide so if you bang something against that it can pop open you can see the the line right there so if you got a boat you're not sure what's leaking you start to see a dirt collecting up around your trim most likely that's indicating a spot where water's coming and going in and out of the boat like i wouldn't be surprised if this one didn't have a leak right there but as you get further down you can't really see that seam as much so it's probably okay down here. So that's this uh, little chunk of boat that Tom sent us. Gonna use it to fix up our 1982 AMF Sunfish Phoenix that was damaged in Hurricane Sally.